Oh, let's just step into my office. As I run in place, what game do you want to play? Let's play this. It just pulls out, um, Clue. Hmm. Cards? We're not going to play a difficult card game. Dramatic visual equity game? The rule is simple. You can get it very fast. First of all, I will let you see the top card of this stack. Okay. As you see, it's my lovely spade A. And then I randomly choose five cards from this stack. Are you just going to shuffle them around? All right. After that, I will shift these five cards. Look closer. And where is my cutie spade A now? If you can pick it out, you win. Let's get started. Oh my god, I've been playing Persona 3 for a few months, so I'm pretty good at this kind of game. Hope you guys are following along. Alright guys, where's Spade A? I'm going to give you guys a few seconds. Alright, you got your answer? I say this. I am positive... It better fucking be. You said it was the top card. Huh? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? What? Wait. It was the... What? It was the top card and I watched it like a hawk. She's a cheater. No way. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, I will let you see the top card of this stack. The Ace of Spades. Then I'll randomly choose five cards from this stack. Oh, I saw something. She fucking tricked me. Alright, so if I, if I saw that again, I saw that she took three cards from the bottom of the stack. And then the fourth card was the top card. That's what it looked like to me. So I, I, of course, she did the whole scam artist trick of, like, thinking that you knew what it was. Okay. So if I'm right, then I'm looking right at the card that I believe was on the top stack. You can't beat me at this game, man. It has to be. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. I didn't anticipate you having the top card be the fourth card you put down. What a pity, I lost. You played dirty, didn't you? I, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> then taking cards from the stack, you cheated using the second deal, didn't you? <laughs> like I said, dynamic visual equity test. Whatever, I win. Now give back my sister. Okay, only if you could reach the my room at the top of this building. <sighs> Give me back my sister right now. And I never say I'll allow you two to meet each other, remember? I said I'll give you a chance to meet her, that's what I said. <laughs> that's all I could say to that. <laughs> Furthermore, I only said meet, not give back. That's total rubbish. And that's all, bye. This game is so adorable, but she kindly left me an item. I got two, f uh, or no, I used one fake guy, and now I have another one. Hmm. Alright, then, well, she did also unlock the third floor. Assuming this is an elevator. No? Wait a minute. I thought this was the entrance to the... Huh. Wait a minute. What's the description of the eye? Uh, yeah, just for a fake face. Okay, there's no... Oh, and I still have the lighter. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, this is the third floor. Okay. Oh, hello. Hey, where'd you get this eye? <laughs> Human being. Rare. I'll let you do. You cool. What is this? More of these uh, pillars with a human shape on it. Like, don't even know. 
about the twisting. It's twisting like it's dancing. It usually found near the river or sea. Is this a riddle? I've heard that if you find out its true identity, a real identity, your soul will break into pieces. Interesting. Locked. Mm. Oh, something broke. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's some white things twisting inside. What? He's a maniac, maniac. On the floor. Blood revealed reveals covered truth. Why is he dancing? <laughs> Light his house on fire. Huh. I have to come back for some reason. Huh. It's like the ice cave in gold. Ah, uh, there's a door there. How am I? Oh shit, well, okay, it's only one way. Each way, okay. I want that item, I guess. Uh, let's move this. Oh, of course, nothing. I'm pretty good at these, I think. I just have to make sure not to screw up once. Uh, let's see. It's like Tron Bond all over again. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh no, hold on. Ah. Uh, fuck's sake. Oh my god, can I not get out? <laughs> oh no, I have to actually load out. Wait a minute. I think I got it. Finally. Push that in. Push that. Push. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Fuck. Push that in. And push. And nothing. Ah. Uh, Yeah, this is really, really tough. I, I'm spending a l too much time on this puzzle that I'm considering skipping it. Because, <sighs> like, the thing is, you can get, you can block yourself in here. So, a plan that I have involving moving, like, I want to push this block away and then move this down, but then that completely blocks it and I can't move it. So even if I were to get that item, I can't leave. So I so I can't do that, and I feel like if I move this, it'll fuck me up. I mean, maybe if I do this, something might feel better. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't feel good at all. Yeah, I'm spending way too much time on that puzzle. Uh, I might consider just skipping it for now. Um... Like, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, is this door locked? No, you can actually go in here. Yeah, because I'm spending way too much time on that puzzle. As you can see. Oh, that's locked. All right, then. That's okay. I'm just going to explore the left room, and then it'll probably be, be the end of the session for now. Uh, about the twisting. Yeah, we already learned about that. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, that- okay. I thought it turned red because I was looking at the masks. Hello. Please say the passcode. Do you know the passcode? No, I don't. Why do you- is that a pair of giant headphones? Looks like some blood inside the pot. Looks like there's blood everywhere. Contain the pot filled with blood. <laughs> it looks like headphones or bikini top, that one. Alright, let's open the flesh door. That's really disturbing. Ah, 
how the fuck am I supposed to run that? Yeah, I'm not quick enough, so fuck this room. You guys got anything to say? The floor literally looks like lava. Pot full of blood. Oh, you know what I bet wants the blood? Who wants the blood? It's... Wait. This guy in here, right? Because his... <laughs> I still can't get over that. Because he's dancing on water, but... Oh, really? Huh. I thought maybe he wanted that. Yeah, blood reveals the truth. He doesn't want it? Huh, I guess skip him for now. So the only thing to do is get this puzzle. Alright, well... <sighs> we'll see if I can solve this. If not, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Peace out. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I got the key. Blood uncovers the truth, and it... Alright, anyway. That's gonna be it for today, so I hope you guys are enjoying. Alright guys, we're continuing on. It's the next day. I didn't want to leave you guys with an 11-minute part after that very pointless puzzle. I could not fucking believe it. But uh, we're back with more Pilgrim, even though you are still watching part 2. What? Oh, okay. Hi. We should leave. Yeah, we should leave? Wait, let's save so that we don't have to watch the animation when we die. Oh, I can't reach it. I need some kind of poker knife, maybe? Do I burn... No, I don't burn the web. Let's, let's just go back, I guess? Interesting. Oh, we don't even have to go that way. Oh, no, we, yeah, we do. Ah... <laughs> <sighs> Oh, uh, that's weird. Maybe we had to use the knife? Wait a minute. No, wait, there- no, I have to have the solution to that. Oh shit. No, game over. I have to be able to get that. Let's try maybe using the knife on the web? Oh my god, okay. I knew you had to do something. I obtained a key. God. It's like there's literally nothing else to do and I have to use one of these items, so... I actually reloaded my save to just see if the key would have worked on the other locked door. It does not. This game is a little obscure. With like, okay, figure it out. But yeah, I just selected everything. Like, I thought you had to kill the spider. Holding a lighter or using the knife are not, I guess, logical things you would do. Uh, speaking of logical... <laughs> do we have to stab these with a knife? Is this another block puzzle? What? This mirror... This mirror feels unbelievable. Okay. Wait! Hi. What? Impossible. Please, help me. Who are you? I can't squeeze into your world. I'm stuck. I'm stuck? <laughs> help me. Pull me out. What is this guy talking about? Well, no choice. I hope he's friendly. I did it. You mean we did. Who are you? Huh. His name is Akami? Okay. 
Oh, how do you know my name? <laughs> you can't recognize me. That's that's not reasonable. That's reasonable. Never mind. Have we met before somewhere? Yeah, but you really don't need to care about me. Oh, come on. Don't don't your words make me feel more curious? I can't tell you anything. Not yet. Curious is spelled wrong. <laughs> anyway, why are you here? Are you here because of Inna? You know Inago as well? What on earth is happening here? Why do they take away Inago? The master here, Alice, is planning to kill Inago. We have to save her from Alice. Are you kidding me? Why does she have to kill Inago? And also, why do you care? I can't tell you more. Why not? You will, you will be hurt if you know the truth. What? Explain. I'm so sorry, but please. Please don't ask me any more. I'm sure even Inago herself may not want you to know what's happening. Anyway, we shall take Inago back ASAP. I'll help you along the way. Why, who are you? My name is Sue. <laughs> no worries, I'm not your enemy. I can't tell you more about me now. But when everything ends, I'll tell you everything. So please, please trust me for the time being. I see. Let's save Inago first. Thank you for your kindness. So we got a party member. Oh! We can just straight up talk to him anytime. What? <laughs> Alright, so we did that to get a friend. Maybe he knows the passcode. But first, uh, yeah, first let's save. Uh, let's see, actually. You know what? It's because it's getting a little annoying. What do you have to say about this guy? Where is Anago? I don't know that either. It's my first time here. Huh. Where did you come from out on the other side of that window? Have we met here uh, somewhere? Well, that's all? I don't want to answer. What's the point in talking to him if he's not going to answer anything? I'm sure for riddles he might know some stuff. Uh, like, like him. So. Where's... Oh. Hey, buddy, what about a passcode? Huh. What a useless option. Let me hold this lever. Thank you. I don't know what these are. They look like giant headphones or a bra. <laughs> He's very kind. That's unfortunate. I feel bad for him. Smiley? I, you know what? I have to see that horror movie, Smiley. Oh, you know what? I bet this has something to do with the passcode, doesn't it? How many are there here? They don't appear to be in the shape of any number, I think. So yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Maybe? Oh, no, I can't get out. All right, well, I learned something. Done. Done. All I saw in there were 13 little things. Or not. There were, I guess there was definitely more in there. Shit. All right, hold the lever. I guess I'll go back in there and figure it out. What language is this? That is Siladidish. It does not exist in your world. It says spider silk is highly flammable. You can read those words? Yeah, a little bit. Huh. Was there another? Were there other words around here that we couldn't read? There definitely was, I just don't remember. It says the passcode for level three is Wow. Yeah, because I knew that there was that other kind of writing we saw, so this game really did want you to walk all the way down to get it. Alright. Fair enough. It 
Say the passcode. Wait a second. Yeah, that shit. Pass. Alright, now I can t What was the point of going in there? What was the point of holding the lever? Don't eat me. Always hungry. I want to eat hot. Heart of what? Heart of a man? Maybe the man in here. What a weird puzzle. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Maybe we can take his heart? Yes, you can. Obtained a heart. Didn't really matter who it belonged to as long as we got a heart. Fair enough. We are done. There you go. You gluttonous pig. Eh, gr what? A pumping heart. He said, ew, gross. Oh, but he thanks me. I got a fake eye. What a weird puzzle. Like, I, I, I was used to solving everything within one floor, but not this time. All right, then. Maybe we can meet Alice. Again, and this time we won't get tricked. I did like that card, uh... Clo your clothes from that world? What? Am I supposed to dress up? What? This is, uh, I liked it that you could... beat every room with the puzzles in that room, but it, that one made you go to the other stairs. Wait, what is this? Wait a minute, I have to see something. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow! I was expecting, like, darts to come out from the wall, but that's pretty good. Looks like we, we could get chased in this, uh, area. Hello. I'll... I'm, I guess I won't take that. Oh. I screwed that up. This one shouldn't be as hard as, uh... The other thing. There, hold on. If I'm thinking about this right, they want me to do this, maybe? To get up there? Right? Got it. Oh. That was very rude, but... Piece of silver jewelry. I'm sure no one's mad about that. That I took their jewelry. Someone wants it. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? What was I supposed to do? I was sprinting it. It looks like I'm going to need an item. Let's see if I can just keep going. Nope. It's too quick. That's pretty good. Let's... Let's explore the right side of the room, shall we? Maybe someone will help us and might want some jewelry. Go through the scary door. Hello. Whoa. Huh. Do you want this necklace? No. Oh, puzzle. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna need two of them. I think. Uh, around the stone statue's neck, so we're gonna need another one. What is up with you? Huh. You need a head. Hmm. What do you have to say? Nothing. I, I can't help but, like, the point and click style of click everything. See if anything happens. Oh shit, it's one of these rooms. Okay. Oh, it's the... what? Okay, it's obviously the middle room, but... Shit. That's a good one. That's a good one.